So welcome back to the uh, session. We have Dr. Uh, Roland uh, Vidje with us uh, to discuss about the uh, scientific revolution which uh, subsequently led to the industrial revolution in uh, Europe. Uh, Roland, uh, we were talking about uh, the emergence of scientific revolution and the important scientists and their impact uh, over uh, Europe, especially in terms of providing an alternative uh, uh, explanatory paradigm. Now, can you briefly start with uh, the transformation from this natural philosophy into mm. specific sciences and that led to the emergence of uh, technology and its impact on uh, industry. It's a, it's a large transformation yeah. but could you summarize uh, that? Uh, first, if you don't mind, yes. I would actually, I would actually uh, argue against that. Oh, so okay. what a lot so you would say that there's no linear connection? There's no that. linear connection. Obviously, okay. in hindsight, we can always create linear co okay, connections. Okay. But usually that's how we understand, isn't it? There is science yes. and then technology and it Yes, but uh, if you look really at uh, at least in the in the as I say as I said in the last yeah. uh, in the last class, science or the scientist yeah. as a as a person as a profession, uh, that has really uh, arisen only in the nineteenth century. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. And before, obviously, we can talk about philosophy. We can mm -hmm. talk about natural philosophy. We can talk about experimental philosophy. Yeah. And yes, if you go back to somebody like Francis Bacon, yeah. who would then uh, uh, not only uh, talk about uh, science as empirical science, mm -hmm. but also science as useful science. Mm -hmm. And you would also have, throughout the Enlightenment mm -hmm. of the 18th century, you would have scientific societies who would kind of reiterate that. So in the last class, I also talked about uh, natural philosophers traveling around, collecting yeah, data, yes, yes. collecting uh, uh, also quantitative data, mm -hmm. um, trying to have an influence on agriculture, for example, okay, right? Okay. Like and uh, kind of modernizing what mm -hmm. we would call today modernizing mm -hmm. agriculture. There is this idea of progress, right? Like mm -hmm. and this yeah, idea yeah. of uh, of uh, uh, scientific progress yeah, and yeah. using kind of science to improve the world, mm -hmm. right? Like Correct. an improved yes, technology yes. as well. Yeah. But if you look at it, if you look at the Industrial Revolution, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, historians of technology mm -hmm. have and very much agree on that the Industrial Revolution was actually not driven by scientific discovery. Even though oh, you had okay. that ideology mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. useful science mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. science should be used mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. technological mm -hmm. progress, you, okay, can, okay. you can say. Mm -hmm. uh, but that was actually not the case. So if you look in the history of science, mm. and this is surprising to a lot of people, yeah. uh, if you look in the, into the history of uh, science as natural philosophy mm. uh, and the history of technology, we yeah. would actually find out that technology used to be, which is very paradoxical at a place like IIT, mm. I ask my students and they always say, technology is applied science, full stop. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. in its origin, it's actually not at all. Oh, if you, okay. if you mm. would look at Aristoteles yeah. and Greek philosophy, yeah. You would say, uh, first, the experimental method is not part of science. Mm -hmm. You are mm -hmm. forcing mm -hmm. the world to do something. Mechanics is not part of science. Mechanics is part of the arts. Oh, it's quite interesting. Because it's artificial. Yeah. Like mechanics okay. is mm -hmm. artificial, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's we forcing nature to do something. Yeah, that is yeah, actually yeah, technology. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, would yeah. be yeah, one yeah. of the definitions of yeah, technology. Yeah, yeah. We are forcing nature to do something. Mm -hmm. um, so. Uh, technology, and we, we, s we, we see that if, if you look at the protagonists all over the world, mm -hmm. if you look at, uh, for example, the Indian caste system, mm -hmm. we would mm -hmm. see the separation between yes, yes. Uh, the kind of uh, 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 sections of society, like uh, the Brahmin caste, yeah, yeah. for example, uh, and the artisans, right? Yeah, which yeah. In, in the Indian system are much, m much lower in, yeah. in the caste system, uh, who are actually responsible for technology. Yeah. Okay, right. Okay, so mm -hmm. there was actually a mm, distance correct, between correct, science okay, and okay, technology. Okay, 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 uh -huh. Also in, mm -hmm. I mean, by, uh, who expresses this probably best in Europe is really Leonardo da Vinci as okay, an example. Okay, okay, because okay, we uh -huh. look at Leonardo da Vinci as obviously a very gifted engineer, mm -hmm, if mm -hmm. we would say that mm -hmm, with uh, mm -hmm. modern words, yeah. and at the same time a very gifted artist. That's true. Yes, right? Like, yes. And a lot of people describe Leonardo da Vinci as a scientist. He was not a scientist. Mm -hmm. And this is really mm -hmm. also the kind of mechani yeah, mechanics yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. and the kind of design. Mm -hmm. Also the kind of, you can see, anatomical drawing mm -hmm. he has and all that. Mm -hmm. So we really see the kind of link between the arts mm -hmm. and technology. Mm -hmm. And we also have this in English language if you talk about artisans and arts and craft. Yeah. yeah right? Yeah, 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 so yeah. you can say historically, mm -hmm technology has been much closer to the arts oh. 
than it's a surprising uh, uh, to the point. sciences, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Industrial Revolution also, if you look at the protagonists of the Industrial Revolution, it was much more this traditional trial and error, technical okay, 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 thinking, okay, okay. James not Watt, for example. Not coming from the high theory kind of thing. No, okay. no not okay, coming okay, from okay. the high theory uh, thing. It's also very interesting. We have one of the very interesting people to read here uh, would be... Um, Oh God, now I have to think and then we have to cut again. Mm -hmm. um, um, Ed, uh, Edgar Zilsel, mm -hmm. Edgar Zilsel, who has been writing a very interesting book already in the 1930s, where he puts up the hypothesis that uh, the scientific revolution actually didn't emerge from abstract thinking, but much mm -hmm. more from technological yeah, okay. practitioners. Okay, 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 okay. And that technological practitioners mm -hmm. actually gave inspiration mm -hmm. to scientific abstraction. Oh, so oh, scientific okay, okay, abstraction okay. actually mm -hmm. And he also brings up, and this is again a very, mm. very sociological mm. theory, that actually modern science as we know it today, this is a thesis, did not arise earlier because earlier societies were slave societies. And basically manual labor mm -hmm. was given okay, okay. to yeah, the yeah, slaves yeah, yeah, and yeah. the ruling classes yeah, 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 would yeah. never engage in manual mm -hmm. labor. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it was actually manual labor and the engagement with manual labor and mm -hmm. specifically you could make an argument, people have made an argument, if you look at Holland, for example, yeah. where a lot of these people, so you had like the craft guilds, yeah, where yeah. actually their status, I mean specifically if you look at arts and craft in Germany, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the status of uh, class guilds mm -hmm. in, in city societies, mm -hmm. we were seen as yeah, free yeah, societies, yeah. if yeah, you think yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. the idea of the citizen, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that they were very much kind of giving inspiration mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. uh, for like creating or transforming mm -hmm. uh, 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 useful or uh, uh, like uh, uh, using using uh, technology mm -hmm. as an inspiration mm -hmm. for uh, for scientific abstraction. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the industrial revolution, mm -hmm. specifically in Britain, and in Britain you can say up to the end of the 19th century, mm -hmm. there was a big distance between engineering and the practice of engineering oh, and okay. science, mm -hmm. really. Mm -hmm. It wasn't really mm -hmm. coming together mm -hmm. in the same way as in other countries. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. So in Britain, actually, James Watt, who mm -hmm. invented uh, the steam engine, yeah, but yeah. even like earlier, earlier versions, the new common engine, which had been around before. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the driving... Uh, forces for the industrial revolution mm -hmm. and we can make out mm -hmm. several of them mm -hmm. science was actually not one of them oh okay mm -hmm. so what happened really mm -hmm. so we have this uh, saying by historians of technology um, science owes owes more to the steam engine than the steam engine owes to science mm -hmm. is really the steam engine came up okay but okay. that mm -hmm. actually led to that motivated mm -hmm. really uh, research in thermodynamics. Okay, you can okay, say okay. there's oh, a lot of oh. research in mm -hmm. thermodynamics that was inspired by the steam engine. Mm -hmm. And this is really, if you look mm -hmm. at the complex relationship between science and technology, okay, okay, obviously, okay. Mm -hmm. in many ways, even today, mm -hmm. uh, technology is a driving force for yeah, science yeah, 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 yeah. as much as science mm -hmm. is a driving force for technology. Yeah, 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 so yeah. you can say this also re happened really during the time of the of the Enlightenment mm -hmm. and the French Revolution. Mm -hmm. Obviously, mm -hmm. what we're having here is mm -hmm. the Industrial Revolution starting in Britain, yeah. where this kind of ideology of bringing science and technology to mm -hmm. together wasn't really that strong. Mm -hmm. Whereas in France, you have this very much, yeah, with okay, okay. the kind of way how, you can say, Newtonianism then moving from, from Britain to mm -hmm. France mm -hmm. and developing a very different kind of understanding okay, okay, okay. and also the states playing a mm -hmm. very different mm -hmm. kind of role. Mm -hmm. So in mm -hmm. France you have... During the Napoleon period or after that? Even before with, oh, okay. uh, with absolutism in France, okay. right, like you have a very centralist state. Okay, okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And the very yeah, centralist yeah. state takes mm -hmm. a very strong role mm -hmm. in the organization of science mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. actually also the organization of mm -hmm. science mm -hmm. and technology. Mm -hmm. So we get a very, n very new model of relationship between science and technology mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which I would say at the beginning is not grounded in empirical evidence mm -hmm, that there's a relationship, okay. mm -hmm, but rather as an as an ideology how techno technological shift ought to be made. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we have specifically the foundation of these grand écoles mm -hmm, in mm -hmm. France and specifically the École Polytechnique. Okay, yeah. We have a, a number of French military engineers. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. a lot of these people, this kind of French mathematical physicists. Mm -hmm, a lot of these people were actually military engineers. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So we have, for example, Coulomb, mm -hmm. the Coulomb law, which mm -hmm. is one of the fundamental laws of electricity, mm -hmm. right? Like, uh, it's really, if you mm -hmm. look at the rise of uh, 
electricity mm -hmm. or electricity mm -hmm. and magnetism, yeah, right? Yeah. Where you have the inverse square law, mm -hmm. which describes mm -hmm. the, which is really modeled after the the gra gravitational law, mm -hmm. right? Like mm -hmm. that, uh, uh, the the forces between. Yeah. Uh, uh, electrical charges mm -hmm. are central forces mm -hmm. and the structure is essentially the same mm -hmm. as in gravitation. Mm -hmm. Coulomb was a military engineer mm -hmm. and he was concerned with the problems of uh, uh, saving uh, powder storage mm -hmm. against lightning. Mm -hmm. So how do, how do you build a lightning okay, rod, okay. right? Mm -hmm. uh, and the idea was if you really want to understand this, you have to do research of its fundamental mm -hmm, scientific mm -hmm. principles. Mm -hmm. And I would say the Coulomb law was very successful, but mm -hmm. it wasn't necessarily to begin with very successful to build a lightning mm -hmm, rod, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. to begin with, you can say this was more a kind of ideological model, mm -hmm. but throughout the, uh, the uh, 19th century, mm -hmm. obviously the situation or the relationship changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. the relationship between science, there is a certain historical mm -hmm. development yeah, in the yeah, relationship yeah. between science and, and technology. Mm -hmm. And this is also, and you can see that very well in the 19th century, mm -hmm. specifically, as I said, there was no strong connection between science and technology mm -hmm. in Britain. Mm -hmm. And what you have is latest from the mid 19th century, the start of a British decline debate. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And part of that is related mm -hmm. to, so you have the first phase yeah, of the Industrial yeah, Revolution, yeah. which lasts like until the 1850s, mm -hmm. right? Like, and then you have a second phase mm -hmm. where other countries then Britain are much more successful, specifically oh, okay. Germany, okay, right? Okay, like, okay. and the rise of the chemical industry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you can also say the rise of the electrical industry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, okay, mm -hmm. but then also obviously railways mm -hmm. and other, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. other things, machine yeah, tool yeah, making yeah, and yeah, these things. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, what was very, very specific, both about, uh, you can say the chemical industry and mm -hmm. the electrical industry, mm -hmm. that they were very much science driven. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. you can say in the first okay, okay. phase mm -hmm. where you have like a uh, rise of steel production kind of from bottom yeah. up, yeah. Mm -hmm. You can say what, what would be the scientific uh, disciplines, metallurgy, mm -hmm. for example. Mm -hmm. That actually came much later, yeah, right? Yeah, like yeah. in chemistry, that came, mm -hmm. metallurgy came much later. So mm -hmm. it was much more trial and error mm -hmm. to bring up new, mm -hmm. uh, new uh, melting processes, yeah, yeah, yeah. new steel producing yeah, processes, yeah, yeah. the steel engine, mm -hmm. also the spinning genet mm -hmm. and the mechanization mm -hmm. of, of, um, uh, of uh, spinning mm -hmm. and then weaving, uh, scientists were not that much involved mm -hmm. in it. But then specifically, if you look at the electrical technology yeah, and electrical yeah, industry, yeah, yeah. there was no, you can say, traditional arts and mm -hmm. craft precedence to mm -hmm. that, right? Like it was entirely yeah. based on new scientific discoveries. Mm -hmm. And people taking these mm -hmm. scientific mm -hmm. discoveries, mm -hmm. not necessarily understanding. Yeah, yeah, not, yeah, there's yeah, still yeah, not yeah. a very linear mm -hmm. relationship <laughs> between <laughs> Yeah. Uh, scientific discovery mm -hmm. and uh, and industrial mm -hmm. uh, uh, industrial production, mm -hmm. but uh, obviously all these are based specifically yeah, yeah. on Faraday's experiments, yeah. uh, uh, electromagnetic yeah, induction, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Volta's uh, discovery of the electric pile mm -hmm. and electric mm -hmm. battery, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Galvani's experiments. Mm -hmm. So there was um, there was a lot of uh, scientific experimentation mm -hmm. and also scientific theory yeah, going yeah. along with that experimentation. Mm -hmm. Uh, that was very important for mm -hmm. the for the rise of uh, electro uh, of uh, the electrical industry, mm -hmm. right? Which is very different. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and chemical industry, we can say yes. Obviously, there's predecessors mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. chemical industries. I mean, people have been making soaps, yeah, have been yeah, making yeah, chemicals yeah. all the time. But the kind of rise of analytic chemistry, mm -hmm. specifically yeah. in in Germany, mm -hmm. and using this kind of analytic mm -hmm. chemistry which came up after mm -hmm. Lavoisier and this yeah, kind of yeah. chemical revolution in order to, uh, to synthesize mm -hmm. uh, new, uh, uh, new chemical mm -hmm. compounds mm -hmm. and on that base a kind of uh, yeah. industrial mm -hmm. uh, uh, development. Mm -hmm. I mean specifically if you think about the tar coal yeah. uh, industry, chemical mm -hmm. dyes, mm -hmm. which again had a huge impact yeah. on India, right? Like yeah, if you yeah, think yeah, about yeah, yes, indigo yes, 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 and uh, the decline mm -hmm. of natural mm -hmm. natural dyes yeah, and yeah, and yeah. Uh, and the rise of mm -hmm. chemical dyes. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, coming back to uh, the social implications of yeah. uh, industrial revolution, we know that as a student of uh, sociology, we are trying to understand how this larger transformation mm -hmm. of the very uh, economic uh, fundamentals of a society from a, a feudal agrarian to mm -hmm. a, a capitalist industrial society 
uh, that is something very very uh, significant yes so yes. what would be your observations on the social implications of especially people who migrated large scale to the cities yeah. and the rise of uh, urbanism the slums yeah. the kind of chaos that followed yeah. Yeah. first i would say obviously industrialization has been a very, very long process. Mm -hmm. It started yeah, in the yeah. 1750s, mm -hmm. and we would say in mm, places like India, it's still ongoing, right? Yeah, yeah. And we can still say certain sections of society or mm -hmm. certain sections of, uh, of uh, our productive sector, mm -hmm. if you think about agriculture, right? Yeah. I would say, for example, even in Germany, industrialization mm -hmm. and increasing industrialization of agriculture is still ongoing, right? Yeah, like, yeah, and also yeah, criticism yeah. of industrialization, if yeah, you think yeah, about yeah, meat yeah, production, yeah, yes, for yes, example, yes, yes. in 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 Europe, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so industrialization is still, and we we talk about the first, second, yeah, second the and third, and now, yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah. talk even about a fourth phase yeah, of yeah. industrial revolution. Yeah. Obviously, we have many social mm -hmm, mm -hmm. social transformations and the rise of new mm -hmm. of new classes, right? Mm -hmm. Like obviously yeah, yeah, the yeah. Uh, the rise of uh, uh, the bourgeoisie mm -hmm. on one side yeah. and uh, uh, the rise of the proletarian yeah. uh, uh, of the workers yeah. uh, 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 and, 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 and the rise of uh, urbanization of cities yeah. uh, uh, which, came a, which came along mm -hmm. with a very new mode of production yeah. and obviously yeah. also with a very new way of uh, describing economies with yes, uh, yes, capitalism yes. Yeah, as... Yeah, yeah. as uh, as as we know it today, and uh, yes, this has been very much linked. Also, if if we come back uh, uh, to science mm -hmm. in in the nineteenth century, if if we think about the scientist as a kind of professional idea, right? Mm -hmm. Like both okay, the okay. scientists as or the scientific community part of is part of this kind of new rising bourgeoisie, mm -hmm. and the idea of. Uh, of the scientist as mm -hmm. a as a uh, uh, as a profession, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And in technology, yes, we have, as I said, uh, we we shouldn't be understanding that. I mean, the impact of this of the steam engine, mm -hmm. for example, mm -hmm. right, uh, which was invented mm -hmm. already in in the mid uh, 18th century, which mm -hmm. much much stronger in the 19th century, mm -hmm. right? Like, so it took some time before yeah, it yeah, would really yeah, take yeah. on. Also, if if you see the rise of cities and city mm -hmm. populations, mm -hmm. uh, if you yeah. go to, to British cit c yeah. uh, cities, yes, it would take on uh, 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 very early on mm -hmm. in cities like London, Manchester. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, then the spread of this was rather uh, uh, slow or not very mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. through Europe as mm -hmm. well. Belgium would be one yeah, of the yeah. first uh, yeah. uh, European yeah, yeah. cities, but then also France, Germany, mm -hmm. where, where mm -hmm. industrialization mm -hmm. would take on, right? Mm -hmm. Like, and then, uh, as I said, would also go over from uh, in, in, into new types of uh, mm -hmm. uh, industrialization, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I mean, one 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 of uh, uh, the biggest impacts, if we look, for example, on on transport, mm -hmm. right? Like, yeah. but also on communication, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. So if we if we think about transport, uh, we would uh, then also look rather at the second phase of mm -hmm. the industrial revolution, mm -hmm. and we would we would look at the railroads, yeah, yeah, yeah. for example, the railroads and uh, uh, the the steamboat as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you think of increasing global mm -hmm. uh, trade, for mm -hmm. example, yeah, right? Yeah. Like, and also uh, you can say a contraction of space. Mm -hmm. And here I'm not talking yeah. about Einstein's theory yeah, yeah, of relativity, yeah, 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 yeah. but much rather like yeah, how yeah. how space in a social yeah, yes, in, yes, a, yes, in yes, a in a in in a social way got very much mm -hmm. uh, uh, contracted mm -hmm. and also time really changed. Yeah, I mean yeah. if you think about uh, the telegraph for yeah, example, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. As a means of communication yeah, suddenly yeah, yeah, yeah. you could actually yeah. communicate instantaneously mm -hmm. more or less mm -hmm. uh, e with all parts of yeah, the world, yeah, right? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which then had a big, uh, a big impact on mm -hmm. markets, for mm -hmm. example, right? Mm -hmm. uh, which, yeah. which really uh, uh, changed uh, perceptions, but even realities mm -hmm. of time and space, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that uh, brings us to the very important question about the connection between uh, industrial revolution and colonialism. Yes. Do yes. you think uh, industrial revolution would have taken place uh, uh, in Europe without colonialism? Not in the same way. Okay, okay. Certainly not in the yeah, same yeah, way. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. basically, yes, the kind of uh, uh, 
trade, yeah. the way how, uh, how trade was organized, and specifically mm -hmm. how the British mm -hmm. organized trade mm -hmm. in, uh, in their empire yes, was yes. a very, a very, uh, um, a very central element yeah. of the yeah. Industrial yeah. Revolution. Mm -hmm. But if we really understand this as a system, obviously mm -hmm. you cannot yes, remove yes, one component absolutely, absolutely, and absolutely, absolutely, uh, absolutely. think that that absolutely. wouldn't impact absolutely, the system. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. So obviously, specifically, if you think about one of the main driving forces, mm -hmm. uh, or one of the main first sectors that really got uh, uh, got mechanized, got industrial, was mm -hmm. uh, was uh, the uh, the textile industry, yeah, yeah. and that was very much depending yeah, on colonial yeah. trade on also slave labor yeah, obviously yeah, yeah. in the colonies on yeah, cotton yeah, yeah, production yes, 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 yes. and also on colonial markets Market, as, yes, yes, as yes. markets for because uh, colonies provided both the raw materials as well as the markets for the finished products yes and, yes and yeah yes yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, and yeah. if we specifically in india where we had uh, india as actually one of the main exporters yes, yes, yes. Of, uh, of textiles and, yeah, and yeah. that has been known since yeah, yeah, i mean yeah. you can go back into antiquity yeah, right yeah, like yeah, the market so you really have this kind of very new mode mm -hmm. of production mm -hmm. here coming mm -hmm. in. Yeah. Uh, it would be very difficult to say, but then obviously colonialism has a longer history than yeah, the yeah, British absolutely, colonial absolutely, empire. Absolutely. Obviously, uh, uh, we in India, we usually understand colonialism as kind of the British colonial yeah, empire, yeah, yeah, but yeah, obviously yeah. There's, a, there's a longer history to yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And there have been different modes of operation yeah, yeah, how yeah, yeah. how how to run uh, how to run your mm -hmm. empire. Um, obviously, there has been this kind of coming together. I would even say also this kind of relationship between science and technology. Mm -hmm. As I said, it's it's not really that easy, right? Yeah, like yeah, if yeah, you yeah. go back to Baconian ideas, mm -hmm. you already have this idea that scientific knowledge should be useful knowledge, mm -hmm. and the kind of mm -hmm. idea of scientific societies in the 19th century and yeah. as I said yeah. uh, the kind of French model yeah. Yeah. of uh, of bringing science yeah. and technology together mm -hmm. which happened at the same time mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. the Industrial Revolution mm -hmm. unfolded yeah, right yeah, like yeah. and we should not imagine obviously the French Revolution is a different mm -hmm. type yeah, of yeah, yeah. revolution than the Industrial Revolution mm -hmm. I mean, the Industrial Revolution, like the Scientific Revolution, if you even want to use these terms, mm -hmm. and a lot of historians yeah, yeah, have yeah. criticized these terms, have not been proclaimed mm -hmm. revolutions, right? Like yeah, yeah, by, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. by actors having yeah, said, yeah, oh, yeah. we topple over the old regime, mm -hmm. right? Like, and they rolled yeah. out, uh, what is also typical for these revolutions, they rolled o out over a much longer yeah, yeah, time yeah, period, yeah, yeah, on yeah, yeah. only in hindsight, yeah, yeah, only yeah. in hindsight. Yeah, especially French Revolution did not really succeed in that sense. No. Yes, yeah. 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 So uh, only in hindsight, we would call, for example, the, the Industrial Revolution mm -hmm. a revolution, mm -hmm. right? Like where I still very much, uh, even though a lot of people uh, 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 have questioned mm -hmm. the notion mm -hmm. of the Industrial Revolution, but I think the Industrial Revolution is, uh, is much more, we have a much stronger argument yeah, to call yeah, that yeah, 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 a revolution than yeah, the Scientific than the Revolution, scientific actually. Revolution. Yeah, yeah. The Scientific mm -hmm. Revolution you really see has kind of unfolded uh, over a period of several hundred years, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Whereas yeah, the kind yeah, of yeah. effects, I mean, specifically if you look right mm -hmm, now mm -hmm. as, I mean, one of the biggest indicators of, uh, of industrial industrialization has been for the longest time and mm -hmm, many mm -hmm, ways still mm -hmm. is, and it's yeah, part yeah, of yeah, our yeah, problems yeah. of battling climate change mm -hmm. and the paradoxes of what we would call sustainable development, mm -hmm. right? Like yeah, where, we, yeah, where yeah. we talk about growth yeah, on one yes, side yes, 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 yes. and this kind of idea, and yeah. this comes really with this kind of idea of progress yes, that yes, comes yes, in yes, this absolutely. period. Uh, and if we really see, okay, when do we really start having larger amounts of carbon dioxide yeah, in yeah, the industry, yeah, yeah, we can yeah. really point out at the point of the industrial revolution. Yes, yes, this yes, is really yes, the yes, starting yes. point yeah, yeah. where things really very much change mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and also our kind of impact yeah, on yeah, yeah. on environmental mm -hmm. uh, uh, factors mm -hmm. very, very much start, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, like, and yeah. where we look at this kind of increase yeah. of, of uh, uh, energy production, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Like that has... Yes. Yes. for the longest time mm -hmm. really been kind of a direct mm -hmm. indicator of mm -hmm. uh, of industrial yeah, development yeah, yeah, right yeah, like yeah, and we're struggling yeah. to get mm -hmm. away from that yes, 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 right yes, like yes, specifically yes, in yeah. india a country where we still have large percentages of population for for example not mm -hmm. connected mm -hmm. to electricity yeah, right yeah, 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 yeah. so this yeah. kind of uh, uh, idea really and i think this is again if if you if you want to look at where do all these kind of transformations and revolutions come together mm -hmm. is really kind of this idea of 
uh, which again today has been much criticized, the idea of modernity, yes, right? Like this kind of yes, idea, yes. Uh, yeah, modernity yeah, yeah. as an idea took shape, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also this idea of instead of having a more static understanding yeah, of the yeah, world, yeah, yeah, yeah. to have an idea of some kind of progress, mm -hmm. right? Like absolutely, absolutely, uh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. whether that's linear yeah, yeah, or, yeah, yeah. or in any other shape, yeah, right? Yeah, like, yeah. but this, this idea of yeah, progress yeah, that's yeah, taking yeah, shape, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we, we identify all these uh, uh, revolutions as uh, coming together, producing something called as a modernity, mm. which actually promised you better, uh, you know, control over the natural resources, better control over the nature. Yes, yes. Uh, and uh, it promised you that uh, human condition would be better, it would emancipate. Mm. Yes, but yes. now, when you look back those promises, we realize that many of these promises were quite uh, problematic. Yes, and, yes. And we are finding ourselves in a very difficult uh, situation. Yes. In Obviously, we can say yes and no. Yeah. I yeah, mean, yeah. one of the things you would really have after the industrial, industrial revolution yeah. is a very strong population growth. Yeah. yeah right? Yeah, like, we yeah. can say yes. Obviously, we have improved yeah. uh, living conditions. Absolutely. We are able to kind of place many more humans on Earth. Yeah. Uh, uh, also, we can say in many ways yeah. conditions have improved yeah, yeah, if yeah, you yeah. think about um, about, about health, mortality, everything, about, about yeah. everything. Yeah, 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 yeah But yeah, quite yeah. a but lot of the, the, uh, the argument is quite a lot of unintended consequences. Quite the a consequences lot of that we did not really anticipate. Yeah, yeah, that they have emerged as major things that we are able yeah, to yeah. learn to deal with them. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. And obviously, obviously, we, we have talked about colonialism yeah, as yeah, well, yeah, right? Yeah. Like the whole colonial experience where a lot of indigenous uh, uh, populations have yeah, been. Yeah, yeah. Uh, distinct, yeah, ex yeah, extinct, yeah, right? Yeah, like yeah, extinct. Yeah. If you look at the Americas, yeah, but if yeah, also yeah, if you look yeah. at other, if you look in Africa, yeah. genocides yeah, that has yeah. happened uh, through colonialism, and also specifically, I mean, we also yeah, talked yeah. about the ideas of uh, of Darwinism, yeah, right? Yeah, like yeah. that, uh, uh, the rise of humanism mm -hmm. was something that mm -hmm. uh, uh, race. If you look mm -hmm. at the French Revolution, mm -hmm. uh, the ideals of fraternity, equality, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, yeah, liberty, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. That weren't in any way extended to the yeah, colonial yeah, yeah, world, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, like that, uh, so with the kind of humanization, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. specifically if you look at natural philosophy in throughout the 19th century, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, and that has been for a very long time. I mean, if you look at natural history museums uh, until uh, rather recently at the mm -hmm. Smithsonian in the US, for example, mm -hmm. where indigenous populations were placed as part of the natural history yeah. mm -hmm. rather than mm -hmm. uh, as part of humanity, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, 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 so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so there was a lot of mm -hmm. exclusion or the kind of the extension, yeah, yeah, how yeah, much yeah, was yeah. that kind of promise yeah, of yeah, yeah. equal opportunities mm -hmm. for people really, mm -hmm. uh, really extended. Yeah, and obviously yeah. we could, uh, we don't only have to look at that, we, we can look at, uh, 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 at uh, gender equality, yes, for yes, example, yes, 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 yes. and that has obviously e been a rather recent yeah, yeah, phenomenon, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, like yeah, that... Yeah. Uh, uh, women uh, actually were even considered to yeah, be yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, to be uh, to be eligible to yeah, have yeah, equal yeah, equal yeah, rights yeah, yeah, as yeah. Uh, as men, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so obviously there were strong limits to that, mm -hmm. and if you look also at uh, specifically at the 20th centuries, mm -hmm. uh, there are two two large blows <laughs> actually mm -hmm. to the whole promise of uh, of modernity which are called the First World War and the mm -hmm. Second World Second War, right? Like where we can say, okay, yeah, all our yeah. scientific and, uh, and technological advantage, mm -hmm. the only thing we're using it mm -hmm. to is to uh, kill each other more yeah, efficiently, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so obviously these have been yeah. uh, rising... Concerns and... Uh, yeah, 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 obviously, yeah. and also criticism yeah. of, of this kind of idea yeah. of... of uh, progress yeah, and yeah. Uh, and modernity mm -hmm. through uh, also through industrialization yeah, right yeah, like yeah. specifically if you look at at, uh, at science and technology obviously yeah. uh, they've made a huge impact on warfare yeah, right yeah, yeah. and an uh, uh, impact to make uh, wars more deadly yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. prolong wars more also yes, yes, yes. more deadly more lethal yes yeah, yes yeah, yes yeah so uh, thank you very much uh, we are winding up the session. Yes. Thank you, Roland, uh, very much for uh, providing us very, uh, very, very useful insights, especially on this connection between science and uh, technology. Yes. Because yes. usually it's taken for granted that science led to the emergence of uh, technology, that led to the emergence of uh, industrial no. revolution. And uh, as a historian, you really, you know, 
problematized it. You made it more complicated. Yes. So yes. Uh, thank you. Yes, thank yes, you yes, yes, yes. The relationship between science yeah, and technology yeah, yeah, is yeah. a very complex one, and we also have to historize it. Yeah. We really have to understand the kind of changing yeah, relationship, yeah, yeah, yeah. and specifically if you look at uh, modern times, if yeah, you take yeah, at yeah. our time again, you can say the relationship between science and technology has taken a different term, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. term which is uh, usually expressed in the term techno-science, yeah, right? Like yeah, where yeah, we yeah. say that science and technology have kind of come together, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. at least to certain types of science and technology have come together to yeah. uh, a kind of seamless mm -hmm, web. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, uh, one more thing also, there's been a very important uh, uh, or for the historiographical debate, a very important uh, book by um, by David Edgerton, uh, uh, The Shock of the Old. Okay, okay. What we should really be thinking about the relationship between science and technology. Mm -hmm. Old modes of production have never really disappeared. Oh, okay, yeah, correct. So correct, we correct. still yes, have yes, craft. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, we still have craft yeah, technology, yeah, yeah, and we yeah. still have a lot of technologies. Uh, that are, are with us since the beginning of humanity, for example. Mm -hmm. We still use hammers, right? Like yeah, we still yeah, use yeah, hammers, yeah, yeah, and yeah, hammer, yeah, yeah, a hammer yeah. is technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and we can say, yes, we have been using hammers as humans. We've been using hammers since Stone Age, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, or other kinds of technologies, uh, yeah, baskets, yeah. for example. Correct, like correct, we have correct, been using yeah, baskets yeah. Since, uh, since Stone Age, right? Yeah, like yeah, even yeah, though yeah, hammers yeah. are easier to find remains of, uh, that doesn't mean that the hammer we're using today is the same yeah, hammer yeah, yeah, as yeah, we're yeah, using yeah. through Stone Age. But our the problem that we have a lot of times looking at technology, mm -hmm. we only understand technology as the kind of newest technology, yes, yes, right? Yes, 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 Whereas obviously mm -hmm. technology and the interaction of technology with society mm -hmm. is rather complex yes, and we yes, shouldn't yes, yes. only be looking at the kind of high tech, mm -hmm. the kind of newest absolutely, technology, absolutely. which yeah. can be uh, uh, obviously today yeah, uh, yeah, very yeah. much described by the yeah, term yeah, technoscience. Yeah, yeah. So technology yeah. is a much broader concept Absolutely. really uh, and still there is a lot of artisans mm -hmm. uh, in correct. the world, yeah, right? Yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah. craftspeople in yeah, the world. Yeah, yeah. And we still have the kind of craft mode yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, production yeah. in the world yeah. together yeah. with uh, industrialization, mm -hmm. with industrial production. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, so thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. thank you. You're welcome. Yeah.